Welcome back, everyone. As the president this week declares a national state of emergency to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, the national debate over immigration heats up. Perhaps lost in all the arguing are the facts. For one, migrants make up more than 10% of Utah's workforce. In tonight's special report, in pursuit of the American dream, ABC4's Rosie Nguyen introduces us to an immigrant who risked everything to get to Utah. And she shows us what Utah would be like without our immigrant neighbors. They harvest your food. They build your homes. They look after your family. These are just a few of many jobs immigrants take on in the state of Utah. They come from different parts of the world with different stories, but they all share the same dream, the American dream. It's just like America. Banji Azeh is one of thousands of people pursuing that American dream after fleeing his country of Cameroon. He became a gay rights activist after his cousin was killed in 2006 for his sexual orientation as homosexuality is illegal in Cameroon. Authorities quickly detained Azair and threatened to silence him. I was beaten. I was forced to sleep on a wet floor. Yeah. Then I was isolated in the room just by myself. He escaped multiple times and hid from police for as long as eight months at a time in the forest. He became a wanted fugitive and knew if authorities caught him again, they would kill him. I didn't have any life again. I was thinking like just to go and commit suicide or to give myself to the police because I, don't, I know nothing to do anymore. Look, I was tired living in the forest. That's when he decided to flee Cameroon to Nigeria three years ago. He hopped on a plane to Ecuador and made his way through Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico. The journey took him six months before he finally made it to the U.S.-Mexico border and declared asylum. His aunt vouched for him to be released to her in Logan, Utah. Since then, he's worked multiple jobs ranging from construction to mechanic work, hoping to show ICE officials that he's working towards a better life. I would like to become a citizen because, uh, like, mm, I can't go back to my country. I don't think I could ever go back to my country because I don't have a life there. My life is a risk there. According to the American Immigration Council, one in nine workers in the Utah labor force is an immigrant, whether documented or undocumented. They make up 27.4% of the cleaning and maintenance industry in Utah, 25.9% of the farming, fishing, and forestry industry, 22.2% of the construction and extraction industry, and 16% of the hotel and food services industry. Tom Maloney, professor of economics at the University of Utah says, labor force participation and employment among immigrants are higher than those who were born here. They're very mobile, right? I mean, that, that what is what defines an immigrant. They're willing to take risk and to move to an opportunity. And so um, what migrant workers do is um, provide a, a responsive labor supply, especially to industries that have big fluctuations in labor demand, that have sort of boom and bust cycles. The nearly 250,000 immigrants living in the state of Utah have $4 billion in spending power per year. They pay $784 million annually in federal taxes and $410 million in state and local taxes. Immigrant-owned businesses generate $453 million per year. These individuals do not live on welfare. Um, they work, they, they work hard, they contribute to the economy, and they do a lot of the jobs that no one else wants to do. I mean, they're not taking nobody's jobs. Maloney says in the last 10 years, the number of undocumented immigrants decreased by approximately 14 percent. Batar says they are seeing the effects as they are having trouble filling jobs. The other day, I have uh, Hilton Hotel came to our office. 
they have you know a significant number of jobs that no one is filling those jobs are you know housekeeping laundry jobs you know uh, you know janitorial jobs you know front desk job many jobs that are available that no one is filling in those jobs so what would life in Utah be without immigrants Experts say industries dependent on migrant labor would suffer and the economy would take a heavy hit. Each one of them, they contribute a lot. They open businesses and they create jobs and, and they pay taxes and they have a spending power. All those things are really uh, going to hurt if we don't have new Americans that are not coming to our community. Azeh hopes he'll be able to call Utah his forever home. He's scheduled to see a judge about his asylum case later this year. I just finally realized that in this world, you don't have to give up. Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.